this video I'm gonna show some of my matches that I finished top 17 in the world using the, the splash art deck and I'm gonna comment on these matches with you guys I'm not doing a lot of comment commentary videos in the last videos I'm gonna try to try to do more maybe just for some special videos like this I'm gonna try to comment so in the first match we're gonna go versus Ian so Ian was using a hog deck with cannon, uh, earthquake, he doesn't have a tank like Valkyrie or, or knight so I think yeah we have a really good matchup here so right now I'm already gonna put a baby dragon in the graveyard because I knew that his defense is not really really good versus my deck so I'm gonna already pressure he didn't get a lot of damage but we forced we forced him to defend so the splash out deck in this meta I think it's it's good but it's not really strong I think I was like the only guy that finished high with splash out it's not on one of the best decks right now but if you play well you're gonna climb a lot of trophies so here you already attack with the hog I already put my ice boots here with the tornado I didn't even need to push to the, the king tower here just use the, the ability just to protect the, the ice wizard and he has to waste more elixir to, to kill my troops in this matchup we're gonna get more damage more damage in the triple elixir so right now we just need to defend and not get not let him get a lot of a lot of damage on the, our tower and unfortunately that hog hit got on the tower but here I put my baby dragon the tornado to bring to the king tower so in this matchup versus hog I think the best way to play is the same lane you have to attack same lane that he's attacking so I think right now I'm gonna start stacking troops in the same lane now he already graver try to pressure him the ice waves froze the tower so it helped the graver get a lot of damage okay he hogged here I'm gonna baby dragon and the tornado just to kill the hog to put it to, put it to the king tower you're a graver already barbed here too tombstone here for the for the hog so right now we're looking we're in a really good situation just defend the tornado we have tombstone too for the hog poison the archer queen but it's not going to give the the value for the poison so poison just the for the offense for the with the grave right i think it's going to be better but here so he didn't have queen in cycle so yeah i'm gonna baby dragon in the back i'm probably gonna graveyard with this yeah i'm already graveyard here the ice waves is uh, freezing the tower so it's gonna help the graveyard to get more damage too so now in triple elixir triple elixir we have a really really better matchup right now we have elixir a lot of elixir to spend so here's gonna use the delivery gonna baby drag with the the barbaro and use the ability of the skeleton king poison everything so here yeah but baby dragon got all the tower so in the triple elixir versus hog decks we have a lot of advantage here yeah just gonna graveyard and poison it's gonna be a game game we're gonna go versus is this is agony king he plays a sparky giant deck but in this version he had earthquake instead of fireball so i think it's 
I think it's better for him because it's gonna destroy the, the tombstone fast. Here, where do you put my ice wizard? Put my tombstone here. I didn't know that he had the earthquake. Already, maybe dragon here. I'm gonna. I don't have a lot of elixir, but I'm gonna tornado everything in Barbara. I'm. I have to take one shot on the top from the Sparky, but it's not gonna be a really big problem. Can use his Electro Wizard. So in right now he was really low on elixir. He did a really uh, expensive push with Giant Sparky and the Earthquake too. I don't know if I'm gonna attack right now or I'm gonna play safe. I'm gonna think I'm gonna attack. I'm gonna attack right now. So I know I now I knew he had Dark Prince. And he he needed to use the, the earthquake for the defense, so tombstone is gonna be gonna be really useful right now on the defense. Here I ice with the bomber. So the, the skulls are gonna kill the giant. Okay, here it was leaning on damage, but in triple elixir or double elixir, we we have a lot of I think we have a bit of advantage because he doesn't have fireball. The fireball is really useful in this matchup. Okay, here. He's tornado everything. I barbered here and already grave him. I just put a tornado there if he puts a lecture version in the middle. You quite a you got good damage here. I already put my skeleton sinking. I'm gonna prepare another combo. But now I need to defend this combo first. He's gonna come with a uh, spark with giant and the earthquake. Alright, prepare my defense. I put my troops in the back. A skeleton king just to finish the sparky. Here, this was a really bad NATO. I already had another baby dragon on the field. And here, this tornado is really, really good. I think it was perfect tornado. It killed the the bomber, the luxury wizard too. And it's splashing the tower. So here we got the tower to 700. And now we just need to defend. We have to be careful because the Sparky Nato is a really, really good combo to get you surprised. So I have to be really careful. Right now he puts the earthquake really on the tombstone. I just barbaro everything. The Sparky. Tornado everything back in nice ways just to be sure the spark is not going to get to the tower. You're not going to graveyard. I want to play safe because if I graveyard there, I would have maybe probably get a really hard counter attack. Okay, here I, I tornado everything back just. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah graveyard Barbara. I have two baby dragons on the field, so this is probably gonna be game. I already poison too. Yeah. The third game versus Denizito. I think you guys know him. He uses the the hog deck with giant skeleton. And I, yeah, this is a really another good matchup. So we already activate the tower here. In this matchup, we have to be really careful. Try to not give the activation for him because if you activate, he could probably win the match. So you have to be really calm in the first seconds of the match. Okay, here is Fireball. I have my my ice is open. He came with the giant skeleton, so right now he I know he had a uh I know he had a low elixir, so I already put my baby dragon with the with the graveyard. Look at the baby dragon the splash on the tower. And the ice is 
helped a lot too. So here's gonna probably come with the hog rider. Yeah, he came with the hog. I have the nato. I'm gonna push it to my king tower. Yeah. I'm probably gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna need it to put a barbier here for the defense just to clean up the giant skeleton. And we started really well. Just don't um, give the activation for him. It's gonna be really bad situation in the matchup. Okay, here you fire about again the tombstone. So it opens for my ice wizard. I'm probably gonna join skeleton here too. No skeleton king. I'm gonna skeleton king with the graveyard already. We're gonna enter triple elixir. I'm already gonna tornado here. Everything. Use my ability from the skeleton king. It's gonna kill the the giant skeleton. Or get it to low life. Prepare another tombstone here. So I put my tombstone. He's forced to use the fireball on the tombstone. Or on the ice whiz. So it's like a fireball bait. The, the tombstone in this matchup. So use the fireball on the tombstone here. I already put my ice whiz. I played the, played a defensive poison. Because the wizard is really... It's a really dangerous card, so I prefer to play safe. I'm gonna go already put my tombstone again. Prepare another attack. I'm gonna go in probably now the barbell to tank and to kill the wizard. I already have the poison ready. He's gonna waste the log. Yeah, I'm gonna use the ability right now. It's gonna be a lot of slots on this tower. He doesn't have nothing, he wasted all the all his elixir. I already attack again because I knew that he was really low on elixir. I already turned to everything. The baby dragon got the splash. And GG. And the next match is versus Mohammed Light. We're gonna play versus a golem deck. He was using golem with uh, the golden knight. So right now, I, I just have the replay. I didn't have to I didn't have the live match because I was really concentrated and I didn't record this. But yeah, we started with the ice was in the back. I wanted to see what, what he was using. I didn't know that it was golem at first. So I I waited a little bit here. I wanted I wanted to wait the goblin cage dies so I could put my baby dragon. I'm gonna put my tombstone here for the golden knight. I prepare my skeleton king if needed. I put it here. So he lightning here. I think it was a really offensive lightning. So already gonna I decided to attack here with uh graveyard with the barbell. But Momo defend really well. Didn't even take any damage. I don't know if it was a really bad graveyard for my part, but I thought it was gonna be a bit better. So versus a golden deck, I think I have a bit of advantage because of the poison. He has night witch. I think poison is really helpful for this matchup. But the Golden Eye too is really strong, so I don't know. So you're just gonna use the Salting King ability. I'm gonna go Graveyard. He go in the back, so I have to pressure. Already bar broad here, just to keep the pressure up. Right now you have to defend this golem. So I already prepared my ice wizard. Another tombstone here. I think I'm not gonna poison right now. I'm gonna try to defend it just with troops. And leave the poison for the offense. 
here we're gonna have a really good NATO pushing everything to the middle and the baby dragon giving the splash damage we decided to go golem so we have to defend again and counter attack after oh he lightning here I think it was a bit offensive lightning by him but I'm trying to cycle to my tombstone again I turn it everything back and I have the tombstone right now I'm gonna already put a dice with he doesn't have lightning in cycle okay so right now is the key of the match so he decided to go golem already pressured with the babe dragon with the graveyard and here he didn't have a lot of elixir so he's a really good attack right now I got it to two one one I got it to one sixteen. I could have poisoned the, the tower but I was playing really safe. And it almost cost the match for me. But here just cycle another poison right now. Cycle to my ice ways. Right now I have poison. I'm gonna poison the tower. And he almost got the tower. I turned it on the last second, he was gonna lightning and he almost got the tower. So here as you can see I finished top 18 in the road. Uh, I hope you guys like this video and see you in the next one.